Katie Heck. Um, I'm a personal trainer over at the rec center. Today I'm going to show you an awesome squat variation that you can put um, in your own leg day workout. I'm actually going to show you using kettlebells, uh, but you can use dumbbells for this depending on how heavy you want to go and what range of motion you want. So let's go get started. Now I'm going to demonstrate the form. For the warm up, you want to get in the sumo position. So for this, you want to set your feet wider than shoulder width, keep your toes pointed out, and when you go down, you want to make sure that you push your chest out and keep your shoulders back, I'm sucking in, keeping your core tight. You want to make sure you don't round your back um, to avoid a spinal injury. When you come back up, you want to drive through your heels and return to the starting position and make sure you don't lock your knees at the top. In my own workouts, I like to add some variety, so I'll do um, dumbbell sumo squats followed by jumps using a lighter kettlebell. For heavier weights, you can stick to doing a 6 to 10 rep range, and for lighter weights, you can do 10 to 20. I like to do 10 to 15 with the dumbbell and then step forward and do 10 jumps for a nice burnout set at the end. When you finish your set, make sure you keep moving. Don't sit down to avoid getting lightheaded. You should rest for about 1 to 2 minutes in between these sets. All right, guys, I'm Katie Heck. Thanks for checking out my workout video on the sumo squat. If I see you walking funny, I'll know that you tried it. Hope you had a heck of a workout.